Hey guys, welcome to Piggy Theos Beauty. So I'm coming to you with a Wedding Chronicles. I've lost count of how many Wedding Chronicles I've done that I need to post them because I haven't posted them yet. Um, it's just basically me talking about the experience of planning for my wedding. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, I'm going to be getting married October 15th to my wonderful, wonderful fiance and soon to be husband. Um, I don't, we're in like crunch time. I think we're at three months before the wedding or two. I don't even know. Two, three. We might be at like two and a half. I'm not even sure. But we're close. By any way, any means we're close. We're like really, 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 really close. So, um, I, my dress came back. I was able to pick my dress up. Um, I have to get my dress altered. I, I lost like eight pounds. Um. And I'm going to say probably, you know, eight pounds is eight pounds, but eight pounds um, is really good for me because I had um, went to the doctor, did some lab work and my lab work came back funky. And I was like, OK, I need to get myself together. So I started doing the Atkins diet um, <clears throat> and lost eight pounds. I feel much better. Um, I'm still kind of sort of doing the Atkins diet. It's hard. Um, I'm a Southern girl. And I grew up eating rice. And it's very hard for me to make meals without rice. Like, it's extremely hard. And my fiancé, he's a southern man. We both grew up in the south. And so we grew up with rice being part of our meal. And it's very hard to make meals and not, you know, do the whole rice thing. But I'm trying to get there. So today I make a sweet potatoes <clears throat> instead of making rice. But anyway, I don't know how I got all off topic about it. But anyhow, okay. So I went to get my dress because I really didn't want to get my dress because I didn't know exactly what was going to go on with my dress. I had gotten it like a couple of sizes bigger. I think maybe a size bigger or two sizes bigger. And of course, in wedding dresses, the sizes will make you feel like you weigh, you weigh 500 or 600 pounds because I had to get a 24 in my dress. Um, even though I wear like a size 16, I had to get a 24 in my dress. And then because I'm bustier, I had to get a bigger size. The funny thing is, is that when I try to dress on, it's still big in the bust area. So I don't know what happened with that whole issue, but it's still big in the bust area. So I have to get that part altered. The middle, I have like a corset. So what cinched in, it was really, really beautiful. Um, I can lose weight or gain weight and you really won't be able to tell. Um, but like towards like my um, hip and thigh area, it was too big. So that has to be taken in. The good part about it is that my dress is like the tool material, um, so <clears throat> it'll be really easy for the seamstress to take it in. Um, it won't be really hard because I don't have like a lot of beading um, in, in, on my dress. My dress is simple, but I think it's elegant, um, which you guys will, when the wedding comes and I'll sit down and you know, show you guys some pics and stuff of my dress and everything like that. Um, so I was able to purchase my dress. I bought my dress from Adele's Bridal in Havity Grace, uh, Maryland. It is a new uh, bridal boutique. The experience, oh my God, it was so wonderful. I enjoyed the experience there. Um, it's a new uh, bridal salon. Um, the owner is herself and her mother-in-law that owns the bridal shop. Um, you feel like you're a queen for the day. They make you feel really, really wonderful. They really have great expertise. Um, and bridal gowns and bridal selections. I went to get my dress. Um, her and my sister and myself, we talked for like two hours after I got my dress and everything. I mean, it was just so awesome. I really, really enjoyed the experience. And if anybody is in the Maryland, D.C., um, Virginia area and you're looking to buy a wedding dress, I'm going to tell you right now. Go to Adele's Bridal um, because they are excellent. They are wonderful. Um, my sister's dresses just came back. I got their dresses on Monday. Their dresses are beautiful. I mean, when I tell you the dresses are beautiful, they're beautiful. You know, it's hard when you see a swatch of something or you see something online and you want to see it in person. Oh, my God. Seeing it in person, it was just like, oh, my God. They're so beautiful. They're so elegant. They're so rich. They're so pretty. I'm so excited. Um, we got the flowers done. We got the photographer um, and the videographer done. Um, we got vases. Oh my God, the vases that I bought, I bought from Michaels. They were like $30 a piece and we were able to get them on sale at 16. We were able to get 
five of them on sale. Three of them we paid the original price for. And then when I tried to go get in the price adjustment, you know, the manager, she kind of got on my nerve. But anyhow, I'm so blessed and thankful that we got the five on sale. They're beautiful. So we were able to get that. Um, I still need to get my shoes. I still need to get my like um, hair comb piece and my earrings. I still want to get a hanger with uh, Mrs. Farrell on there where my dress is hung up and they take a picture. Um, my mom got her gown. So we have almost everything in place. We have to finish paying for the um, the honeymoon and we have to finish paying for the venue for the wedding, for the wedding, uh, wedding, wedding. Yeah, I'm country. I'm trying to make sure I say this stuff right. It don't sound too country, but you know, I'm from, from South Carolina. So sometimes we, you know, cut some stuff off, add some stuff, however. Um, Harry got his uh, tux. He got fitted for his tux. My nephew got fitted for his. Um, he ordered all the tux and stuff. They're going to look really, really nice. Um, almost everything is kind of basically kind of done, really. Um, we're just like finalizing stuff. We just sent out the invitations. We sent out invitations out so late. Really, really extremely late. But everybody who needs to know or needed to know about the wedding already knew we we're just trying to make it formal that sending out the invitations oh my god there's a long story with that i don't think i told y'all the story but okay okay so i'll tell y'all the story okay so we wanted to get one of our churches here and the church that i wanted to i wanted was not available for the date our wedding date so we tried to get the other church in the in the area, and we went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with it. Um, my pastor called the pastor, um, and we never got an okay on it. And we were at a couple. We were at maybe three months. We were maybe at the three month mark, and we were like, we need to, you know, get an okay. And if we don't get an okay, we need to move. And we moved because we didn't get an okay. Can I say that I am upset? I am but I realized that I have no control over other people and um, thank God that we were able to find some place to have our wedding it is it was irritating and it was frustrating to me because the only thing that was holding us from seeing our invitations was where we were having the wedding at and I didn't want to send the invitations and then had to retract everybody's invitation that I sent out to them and sent out another Thing saying oh the wedding is not going to be here it's going to be here I didn't want to do that because I felt that would be so stupid and a waste of time and a waste of money so on that note I'm extremely pissed because our invitations were supposed to have been a long time ago but they weren't because we didn't have an okay on where we we're having our wedding so needless to say I'm still pissed but I'm getting over it I'm pissed about a lot of things but I'm just getting over it um, my bridal shower is going to be on this Saturday. Um, my mom and my two sisters and my best friend who's my maid of honor and my sisters are my bridesmaids. They're hosting my bridal shower. Um, I'm upset about that too. Well, not upset about my bridal shower, but upset about what I was going to wear to my bridal shower. So, um, some months ago, one of my co-workers, one of her cousins had a bridal shower. She had on one of the two skirts and had the shirt. And I was like, oh, that's a cute idea. I am thinking I'm going to do that for my bridal shower. So my colors are silver and eggplant. But I didn't want to go the silver or eggplant route. So I was like, well, I'll do white, a white tool skirt and then get me a shirt with silver in it. And wear some, I got some silver glitter heels that I thought would look really cute with it. Because I've only worn heels maybe once or twice. So I was like, oh, I can wear that. So I ordered my shirt. After I ordered my skirt, needless to say, I ordered my shirt after I ordered my skirt. I ordered off of Etsy. I'm um, not Etsy, um, Etsy. I ordered off of Etsy. Um, wonderful uh, customer service. I got my stuff in the mail, no problem. I got my shirt and I'm still waiting for my skirt. And I'm still waiting. So I went to look at the, cu the um, customer service email and it said that my my skirt was shipped I'm like okay then I go back to see that and check the tracking number and it said it was delivered and I'm thinking deliver where because I never received this skirt so it was delivered last Thursday I live in an apartment complex and I live in an apartment building on the third floor so I called customer service 
I didn't really like customer service um, too much. I didn't really, I don't really too much. I'm, I'm like probably putting the company on blast, but I pissed, so I can put the company on blast because I'm a customer and I don't feel like I got good customer service. So I emailed them prior, letting them know that I didn't get receive my address, and then I called. I mean, my skirt. I called and told them that I didn't receive it. So she's like, "Well, let me look at your tracking number. Do you have your order number?" I hate when they ask you, "Do you have your order number?" No, I don't have my order number. I'm I'm not really looking for my freaking order number. I want my pro the product that I ordered, but I'm, I don't care about the order number. You can look that stuff up merely by just asking my name and my address. Really? So that takes me off. So then she looks it up and she reads to me the same thing that I just read online that it was delivered on 7:28 at 3:18 p.m. I said it wasn't delivered. I didn't receive it. I'm not going to call you a whole almost week later and call you about an item if I received the item. I never received the item. Clearly, I'm calling you because I didn't receive the item. Okay, so she says to me, well, it said that it was left on the porch on the front door. Ma'am, I live in an apartment building. I don't have a porch. So that means they left it outside of the apartment building door. Instead of putting it inside, they left it outside. So anybody who's walking past can pick the item up. So someone picked it up. Y'all, if I see somebody in a white tool skirt, I might catch a case. That's all I'm saying. If I see somebody in a white tool skirt, I might catch a case. The reason of it, and the, the, the company that I purchased from is Aliqui. I love Aliqui, uh, their stuff. I've never purchased from them before, but this is my first time. Needless to say, this will be my last time also. Because that customer service and stuff is horrible. And you're going to come to an apartment building. And you ring the apartment building. And you don't ring, you ring that apartment number or letter. And you don't get that person. The item should not be left at the door. It should be taken back to the postal office. A little car that they normally leave for stupid stuff could be left there. And I could go and pick the item up. So any random idiot picked it up. But like I said, Jesus, if I see somebody in the white tool skirt around here, oh, MG, I'm going to pray for them, Lord. Help me, Jesus, get me together right now because I'm, I'm going to take the little tool skirt and rip them off of them. I want it for my bridal shower. So I thought my outfit, I, and the reason why I ordered all this stuff a couple weeks ago is because I wanted to not be like doing, running around, trying to look for stuff. I can have everything, and I like to have things in place, especially like outfits and stuff when I have an event. I like to have them in place early. So that I don't have to run around looking for stuff. Needless to say, I'm running around on Friday looking for a white tool skirt that I probably may not be able to find. So I might have to change my whole outfit. So I'm pissed. So, Eloquy, I sent them a nice email to y'all. But Eloquy, I'm, I'm really upset with your customer service. Your customer service sucks. I'm, I don't know. This was not what I chronicled. This was talking about everything else but weddings. But anyway, I had to do my bridal shower. So, I'm just letting you guys know about my stuff and what's going on with the wedding planning and everything is falling into place. So, thank you guys for checking out Piggy Dance Beauty. Until next time, remember to love yourself. Remember to be beautiful inside and out. And to always, 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 always be blessed. Until next time, my honeys. Bye.